Did you recently lose your job or are you out of work? If the answer is yes, then you can claim the employment insurance from the Canadian government. So in this video, I'm going to show complete information on the employment insurance, also known as the EI benefits. I'm also going to share complete steps on how you can apply for EI and how you can claim those benefits. If you're new here, my name is Raj and welcome to Finance by Raj, where I share my views and ideas on finance, taxes and student life. My contract with last job ended recently, so I thought I might as well claim the EI benefits from the Canadian government for the time that I was out of work. Well, that gave me the idea for this video. So the very first question would be, what is employment insurance or EI? Well, employment insurance is a temporary support for unemployed workers. You might have seen EI deductions in your pay statement every bi-weekly or even monthly. Well, these are kind of insurance premiums which you pay to get benefits when you are out of work for various reasons. There are various benefits depending on your situation which includes regular benefits if you lost your job, sickness benefits, maternity benefits and even caregiving benefits. As my case was regular benefits, this video will focus only on those type of benefits when, which you can claim when you lost your job through none of your fault. There are various criteria that you need to fulfill in order to be qualified for this benefit. Depending on the unemployment rate in your area, you will need to have at least 420 to 700 hours of work in last 52 weeks prior to applying. First, you can find the unemployment rate of your area in Google and then you can look at this graph to compare the unemployment rate and the work hours needed in the last 52 weeks. For example, if you live in an area with 6% employment rate, unemployment rate, you would require at least 700 insurable hours in the last 52 weeks. The next criteria is that you should have lost your job through no fault of your own. This is a very important criteria. Also, you can only apply for these benefits if you are out of work for 7 consecutive days in the last 52 weeks. You also have to demonstrate that you are capable of working each day and you are actively looking for work. They will also contact you to ask what kind of jobs you are applying and they will also ask for proof of the jobs that you applied. So once you meet all the qualifications, you can receive the weekly benefits which can be up to 55% of your earning. You can receive up to a maximum of $650 each week and a to for a maximum of 45 weeks. There is a special process on how they calculate how much you can receive each week. First, depending on your regional rate of unemployment, they will allocate the required number of best weeks. As per the chart, if your rate is 6%, then they will consider 22 weeks where you earn the most in last 52 weeks. The next step they do is calculate the average weekly earnings for those 22 weeks and then the average is multiplied by 55% which will be the benefit that you will earn every week. So for example if you made an average of $1000 in each best weeks you will receive 550 which is 55%. Now this was all about the EI benefit how you can apply and how much you can receive. Now let me talk about how you can apply for this benefit through the various steps. Okay, so this is the first step towards claiming your EI. So first thing you need to do is write EI apply on your uh, Google and then you can see the first link, open it and you can see uh, the details on your qualifications if you qualify or not. And once you are assured of that, you can go all the way down and click on apply. Now again, you can read our privacy documents and details and then you can start the application by going down, click on start application. Okay, so once you click on start application, you'll see this question. So are you trying to retrieve an old application or not? For our case, we are not trying to do that. So no. Okay. Okay, so I filled everything, but you know, I'll go through it again. So first question was, what type of insurance benefits would you like to claim? So it's just for employee. If, so. I'll select that and continue. Now they'll ask, were you part of any group or work sharing layoff? And if you were, you can say yes. For my case, it was no. Here you can see what type of benefits you can get. For my case, it was just regular benefits because for me, the contract was ended. But depending on your situation, you can choose the benefits. Again. Here they will ask for your SIN information. So you can read all of this and 
click on continue and first you can enter your social insurance number and then your date of birth your last name first given name as per your sin document and last name as well and your gender and your last name of one of your parent at birth so once you complete this hit continue uh, you'll get one more opportunity to confirm every data that you inserted so once you do it hit continue again and there will be a temporary password so just just in case you want to you know go back and change anything before submitting and you know you want to do this again you can take this password so you can get back to it even if your internet is lost or the window is closed so remember this or take a picture of this now you can select your language so for me it was english for writing and speaking as well you can include your email address where you can get alerts from job bank regarding your potential employment positions like accounting finance and then you can also add your number so they can contact you now then you can enter your email address and by just entering after entering your email address you can enter your postal code and by just entering the code they will retrieve your address and then you would need to enter your number and your apartment number just to confirm everything and once you are assured everything is good hit continue now here you can select your status so for my case i'm visible minority so i'll can select that and continue again okay so how do you access your t4e so i already have a my service canada account if you don't you can create one but as i have it i'll select this option and my situation is basic because i'm single and not married but if you're married and have a spouse then you can click this again click on continue now there are the questions did you use any direct deposit on your previous claim there was no claim before so no i have my banking information with me so again i'll take this and continue here they ask you for your uh, banking information so that you can get your direct deposit for ei payments so you can en enter your transit number your financial institution and various other details of your bank account and hit continue once you're done then they'll ask for your highest education level so for me it was college degree so i selected college and then there are the, another questions are you a member of a union for me it was no are you a permanent resident no for me if you are then you can click on yes and so then they'll ask for your current status in canada you're in study permit work permit so i was in study permit and it was valid and then you can enter the start date and end date of your study permit and if you have any current applications for your extension you can select yes again if you are on study permit or work permit they'll ask a copy of those so if you, if you hit continue they'll ask if you want to add proof now or later so usually you can do yes but i won't do it right now i'll, I'll add it later on but you can continue with yes and you can put the documents there Okay, so in the next step, you need to enter the details for your last employer, which includes the business name, their phone number, the first day you worked and the last day you worked, and if you are willing to return for the work for this employer. After entering all of this, you can hit continue. In the next page, you'll be asked for the reason why you weren't working. So you have various options and you can select the one which you are suitable with. So for me, it was um, my contract was ending which is also there was a shortage of work. So I selected that options and then you can hit on continue. The next um, you can see they ask for the rate of pay. So first you can write your earnings. For example, if it was $25 per hour, so you can write 25 and it per hour, you can select it and then just hit continue. Then you need to enter your job title. So for example, if you're working in accounting industry, if you're a bookkeeper or if you're accounting technician or uh, accounting analyst so you can just write that and you can search it and once you find it you can hit continue now for the next option they'll ask for the record of employment usually if you recently left your job you won't have it on hand but you can ask your employer to provide it and they can upload it to service canada so if they're ready to upload it you can say uh, i will request or will request the record of employment from my employer 
or if you already have it you can upload it through this step now clicking this you can see they give you an option if you ever work for anybody else in the last 52 weeks and if you did and that's not reported you can always hit yes and then continue and then you can enter the same details for them as well but for my case it was no so i'll just hit no and continue so after entering all your employment details uh, they'll ask if you have you ever worked since completing your last employment insurance benefits so there is no and if you're province if you're from the province of quebec this is the question for that but i'm not so again no next question is will you have you received or will you receive any money through workers compensation and for my, my case it was no so again no this is the question for pension so if you're receiving it you you can say yes but for my case it's again no and then they'll ask if you have been in jail and again the question is no of course were you self-employed no nope. will you declare any farming income on your tax return for my case it's no so again no are you taking any course or training program if you are taking one you can of course say yes but for my case i'm not taking any so i'll say no again if someone helped you completing this you can say yes and you can enter the details but for my case it was no and i'll continue then there is some medical questions so do you want to add a, add a medical certificate for your applications for my case it's no so and then here are some rights and responsibilities that you can read i already read those so you can read it and once you're assured you can hit continue so here are some details make sure to read it so you're well aware of what you're signing up for and here are some payments and waiting period reports and uh, apprentices details again continue and you can say you accept your rights and you can hit continue now once you add all of the details you can of course go back by clicking previous and change make changes if you need it but once you are assured everything is good and you want to submit the applications you can click on accept the above attestation and want to submit a, my application for employment insurance benefit online and you can click on submit button after you apply for this benefits you will be contacted by multiple representatives who will call you to confirm your applications and will ask you further questions on why you left your job how much you were paid what kind of job you, job you're looking for and if you are successful in getting any jobs within a week you will receive a code at your mailing address which you need to enter in your application online to active your application and do online reporting so the canadian government asks everyone to do bi-weekly online reporting to confirm their status you can do the bi-weekly online reporting through this so the first step would be writing ei internet reporting on the google and click on the first link now if you see this scroll all the way down till you see submit your report by internet you can click on this and then they'll ask you to enter your social insurance number your access code that you get your through your mail and your province of residence and then once you enter it you can hit continue now, after you enter your all the information, including your province of residence, you can hit continue. They'll ask to read any information. Once you read the, all of those, you can click I accept. And then you, they'll ask if you moved your mailing address or change your banking information from the last time. So you'll say no, because you haven't. If you did, you can say yes. But for my case, it was no. I hit continue. And they'll just ask to confirm it. Once you confirm it, you can say I accept. Now here, they'll ask if you were outside of Canada during this period. So that's 20, 21st to 3rd of June. So I wasn't. So I'll just click on no and I hit continue. Once again, you can confirm and accept it. And then there will be questions of if you were self-employed during this time, which I wasn't. And if you received any earning for this period, Again, I didn't receive any earnings, so I'll hit continue, confirm it, and click on I accept. Now, they'll ask if you attend, attended any school or training course during this period. For me, it was known. Again, confirm it. And they'll ask if you were willing to work and capable of working each day through this period. So I said I was, but I didn't get any job. So, yeah, you can click on I accept. 
and then they'll ask if you received any money that you previously didn't tell them about so again i didn't receive anything again you can accept it and again you can confirm all your information so once you're done you can read all of those and if you're okay with it you can scroll all the way down and accept all the information and your online report will be submitted and they'll say when you need to submit for the next time and this is a confirmation so you can also print it to keep it in your records so you need to complete these reports regularly and keep them informed once you receive a job your payments will stop but you need to inform them regarding the new job also if you are applying for benefits and you are receiving benefits for multiple weeks there might be a situation where the representative will ask you for proof of jobs where you applied and any potential interview that you got so that is it this was the video i hope this was beneficial for you and if it was then do not forget to like share and subscribe so you don't miss another video on such benefits